Okay, hey YouTube, it's me, Jamisha, with my fat face. I um, am going to talk about my port story. I don't have one because it's, I have something to do in a minute, so yeah. Um, I have had my port for three or four, I think it would be four years in August. I got it like the day the kids went to school, so yeah. But I kept asking my pediatrician. This is before I went to um, before I went to my doctor that my hematologist that I'm at now. Before I went to him, I kept asking for a port because I was always in the doctor's office and it was just a lot. And they were sticking me like in my neck and my toes and my thumbs and my wrist and my fingers inside of my hands. And it was just too much. So, I um, got admitted through the hospital one day. And they was like, okay, my IVs wouldn't last but like two or three days. Mostly two days. Because they would start itching. And then my hand would be so big from the fluids not going into the vein but going outside of the vein. The vein had infiltrated. And um, so my IV messed up and I was like okay there's like um well I don't even remember if they told me they were gonna give me a port or whatever but I know I don't even remember going into surgery I don't remember none of that I just know waking up with this thing in my chest and that's it when I first got it as usual it was tender which I knew that but like if I laid on my stomach too long it would hurt me so so bad so I stopped laying on my stomach but now like I don't I can tell if they are in the right place if I don't feel it even if they're touching around if they're feeling around to see you know how they just like feel around on it if I if I don't feel that, then I know I'm not going to feel when they stick it. But if I feel it, you're not in. And I always tell the nurses that I know in the emergency room, it takes them a while to find the um, port equipment. Sorry, guys. I'm out of breath. I don't know why. I'm 